Hey guys, it is Sunday afternoon. I'm at the office after church and uh, I've got a blog post that I've been working on. It's been on my mind for a while now. And the um, blog post is about multitasking and um, how the fact that we kind of lose efficiency when we multitask. In fact, it's one of the biggest th thieves of efficiency that I know of is multitasking or trying to multitask. Sorry about that light in the background there. It's really glaring and I didn't realize that until I set this up because I'm multitasking right now. I'm trying to set up this Facebook Live demonstration. I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing next, and it's robbing me of efficiency, and I should have done something about that lighting, but now I'm kind of stuck with it, so here we are. Um, so multitasking. Our brains are amazing. Our brains are, are capable of handling thousands of things all at the same time. Fortunately, most of those things are done automatically and subconsciously. All the inputs coming in, what we hear, what we see, what we smell, all those things happen um, automatically without thinking, subconsciously. We don't have to think about all of them at the same time or we'd be overwhelmed. In fact, a lot of mental illnesses like um, schizophrenia, part of the problem is, is that filter breaks down and what people who are suffering from schizophrenia um, experience is conscious awareness of all of those sounds and all of those uh, lights and, and vis visible things all happening consciously and it's overwhelming. It just is, it dr drives people crazy, literally. Uh, so thankfully, we've got a system designed, if our brains are working properly, that we don't have to think about those things consciously. Uh, the things that keep our bodies functioning, our heartbeat, our heart pressure, our breathing, our digestion, all those things are subconsciously controlled. They happen uh, without us having to think about it. Uh, good thing because we would be distracted and lose track of, oh, I forgot to have my heart beat the last minute or so and I'm fat passing out. I forgot to breathe, so I passed out. I forgot to digest that piece of chicken and so it just doesn't work. We All that has to be done uh, subconsciously and automatically. We were designed that way. God knew what he was doing. Now, there's still a lot of things that we do consciously, things like relationships and conversations and problem solving and decision making. Those things have to be done consciously uh, and uh, uh, with awareness. Uh, that's why we are creative people, because we can think about those things and come up with creative answers to those challenges and opportunities. Uh, but when we try to do more than one thing at a time, we got a problem because our brain can only handle one conscious thought at a time, one task at a time. There are not two conscious pathways in our neurology. There's only one. So if we uh, try to do several things at the same time, we got a problem because we can only use the one pathway. So some examples are, I listed a couple that I was trying to do a minute ago, but there's things like... Uh, in the morning, getting our kids ready for school while I'm getting myself ready for work. i got to switch back and forth as I think about those two things. Uh, how about trying to listen to my spouse while I'm doing another task, like shining my shoes? It's efficient. I don't want to just listen to my wife. I don't want to waste that time when I could be doing productive, positive, practical things. I'm switching back and forth between two tasks and I cannot be as efficient in either of them. So anytime we multitask, we're losing efficiency. Um, our brains have to switch back and forth. It's a little bit like this. I came up with this example. In my office, I've got several things I've got to do. I've got patient care, I've got staff I've got to listen to, and I've got paperwork I've got to do. So here's two uh, pieces of paper I have to write notes on. One is a patient note, and one is a um, request for my staff to close the office because I'm going to be out of town. I've got two things I've got to do. I can do them at the same time by filling out my name on one, the name on the other. The date on one, the date on the other. Uh, the patient note, symptoms and uh, and the date I want to take off. Uh, my objective findings and who I'm going to give this note to. Every time I switch back and forth, I'm losing time as my brain switches back and forth between those two tasks. So every time I'm switching back and forth, I lose effectiveness and efficiency. Um, the same thing happens in our brains. It's kind of like uh, having a radio station, two radio stations that I want to listen to. One is music, one is a talk show. I can switch back and forth, uh, but every time I do that, the, the radio has to 
reroute the circuitry and there's a pause there. Have you ever done that? When you switch radio stations, there's a, just a moment where there's nothing coming through. That happens in our brains. Our brain has to switch those tracks and it does it very efficiently, very quickly, but every time we do it, we lose that split second of actually doing what we're trying to do. So multitasking costs us. I understand there are times when we cost. There actually is a cost every time we switch thought channels in efficiency and the use of our brain channels.